What up, y'all? This your main man, Spotlight. I'm back again trying to, you know, address a few things about the EV dance um, situation as far as missing and all that. Last time, it was the first video I posted, and it got decent feedback, but I want to break a couple things down, like, all the way in detail and stuff, and talk about how things are here in my city and how they compare to things in Chicago for the most part, like, especially the gang activity and all that. Like, I know y'all could probably look and be like, ah, the white boy ain't out here in the streets. I'd have been through it all. I could tell you about it all. Then lost all my closest partners in this shit. I, you know what I'm saying? I want the reason I really changed my life is to be here for my child. And, you know, I still don't think all the decisions I make are the best decisions. But at the same time, I can say I'm the best father I know to my child. And um, she working her way up. You know, the national rankings as far as basketball goes. Her name is Daisy, number nine. She's, I mean, she's the truth. She's a fourth grader. She plays fifth, sixth, and seventh basketball. She, I mean, she's amazing. So, you know, y'all be on the lookout for her. But about the EB band situation, um, I wouldn't expect no news every few days. And a lot of people are going to post updates that or want to be irrelevant, clickbait, stuff like that. I mean, if you sitting there telling, if you sitting there claiming you a street cat and you saying you know where the body is, then there's really no difference between being that and a snitch. You know, why is you exploiting to the world that you supposedly know where this man's body is? You're not, if you're not going to give it up, supposedly, Unless you're probably giving it up behind closed doors. So everybody said they know where his body is. It's really pointless. You know what I'm saying? When you see updates like that. If his body, if somebody knew where it was, he'd be fine. You know, he probably is missing and, and haven't contacted nobody on a run somewhere. Like I say, I've been mad in them same footsteps. Right after I caught my case, I lay low for about two months to build money back up that I had lost when I caught my case. Hold on, my battery getting low. But, um, you know, just don't believe all the hype. You know, like I say, don't don't claim a man dead until he's dead. Until you find a body, or you know for a fact that man's dead, you, you got some type of real knowledge on the situation, don't claim he's dead. What's the point of it? Like I say, I don't know nothing about what that dude do in his personal life. None of the cats he had beef with. Like I say, Chicago bang a whole different way than St. Louis bang. It's bloods and crips out here. You might claim, you know, catch a couple cats to claim other things, but it's bloods and crips, crips out here. And to tell the truth, bloods and crips do dirt together out here in St. Louis. That's one of the craziest things you'll see anywhere. You know, like I say, it's more, it's basically hoods out here. It's way more sophisticated as far as, you know, the knowledge and how y'all separate things in Chicago. So people in other states probably not gonna understand that. But catching a body is catching a body. You know, guns is everywhere. So to say, oh, they from such and such, they don't know nothing about that, man, people get killed the same way everywhere. It's drive-bys everywhere. Whether you in the suburbs, the hood, mansion and South Beach, it don't matter. Shit, anybody can get pulled up on. People migrate. That's how the world became populated. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's no point to say, oh, they from such and such, they don't know nothing. Like, come on, if you've been out here in this stuff, it is what it is. I'm born and raised in St. Louis, baby. All my life, so. You know, stop, stop. Thank you. Like, what's the point? Like, and I ain't shooting nobody videos down. I'm just telling y'all, it's a lot of fake news out here. One thing you're going to get when you come to my page is you're going to be reality. So, like I said in the previous video, my belief is a man is not dead until they found dead. And, you know, pray for the man. You know, if you as peoples and you want to see him come up, pray. God is real. Shit, God has saved me from many situations. I got so many stories to tell and you know, I'll probably will do that later on in these next few videos. I want to know what y'all want to hear me talk about. Like I said, this is about the EV man situation. And, uh, you know, I really want to know what y'all real opinion on what y'all think possibly happened is. You know, 
if he, you know, was out here owing some cash money and he came up missing, it's a good chance he, you know, got kidnapped. Like I say, I don't see anybody leaving anybody home abandoned like that, tore up, unless it was somebody looking for something. But at the same time, unless it was somebody close to him, they say that man had pits. Pits is going to attack. If it's not the owner or somebody close, they're going to attack. So if his crib is ramsacked, it was either somebody close to him or he ramsacked it himself looking for something. And it's common for a person if they think they got charges to get out of Dodge. Shit. Who want to sit here and wait to get jammed up? Especially on gun charges. Possession of a gun by a felon. You know, you know you doing time. My bro Beasy just came home for that shit. He sat there and did 10 on some shit he ain't even do, and then came right out and got possession of a firearm. State dropped it, feds picked it up. We couldn't find him for a minute. So I say, man, stop false claiming what happened to that man if you really don't know. And if you know, if you post updates out here, that's as good as snitching if you actually know. So if you street, you know that's against the rules too. So, Look, say, from what I know, he wasn't found in Indiana dead. He wasn't found in Chicago dead, not in Rockford dead. And y'all know that that ain't too far from St. Louis. You know, they saying, F, everybody say FBG Duck did it. Like, come on, man. Dude is one of the hottest cats out of, out of Chicago right now. And everybody know he known for shit like that. So... Why he hot, you think eyes ain't on him to go do some shit like that? And like I said in the last video, if he had cameras and the police did see something on them cameras, you think they just gonna tell everybody that so everybody can uh, move a certain way because of it? Y'all gotta be serious, man. Like, I feel like a lot of people that comment on this shit have never been through nothing in their life. And I, I mean, I could be wrong. Some of y'all could. Some of y'all could just be some goofball clowns. I don't know. I hustled my whole life. Just got off the game. And, you know, I'm glad I did because I've been through situations like this. Like, I don't know. Man, what do I want to come up missing for? And, you know, after I have gave my daughter such a good life out the shit. The best way to do it is try to get your money and get out the game. Next video, I'm going to go deep into, you know, what happened as far as my, my situation is going in my life. I'm not going to be commenting on the EB band situation again unless I get a good story. Y'all check out the music videos that's in my, uh, on my page. And y'all write me and ask me some questions, you know. Shit, you want a shout out? Hit me up. I'll give you a shout out. I'm going to be talking real stuff. All right, I'm going.